I kicked my daughter out the day she turned 18, and she keeps calling me for money since she is unemployed, homeless, and her 12th grade classmates bully her for it. How do I tell her to figure it out herself? You're really posting this thinking this isn't going to be an absolutely horrible thing and you're going to get dragged in the comments? And let me guess also, 10 years down the road, you're going to wonder why your daughter doesn't want to have anything and absolutely anything to do with you. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash I am a total POS because the, honestly, the world is just a dumpster fire that is getting closer and closer to idiocracy being a live action documentary. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, or just say Minecraft because apparently that helps the algorithm in some weird disappointing way. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, okie dokie leg yeah. A Philadelphia toddler who was blank several times when his father brought him to a deal as protection has died. What, how does the whole having a baby as protection thing work? Like what part honestly made you think, hey, I'm about to do this really sketchy thing. Let me bring my toddler so everything goes all right. Can I give her a gentle kick to the ribs? Why do you want to hit slash kick my dog when you haven't even met her? It's not that I want to, believe me. A swift punch to the kidney? Yeah, I don't think that's funny. You are not touching my dog. Yeah, no, nah, I don't care how long I knew you or if you just match with me on Tinder or whatever a dating service was, you do not joke about hurting somebody's pet. Like if I sold somebody that I had a ball python because I liked my chubby baby and somebody said, you kill it. Yeah, no, we are not friends. I don't want to associate myself with you. It's one thing if you don't like an animal, but it's another thing if you want to actively enact violence on said animal because you don't like it. I had once approached a teenage girl around 14 years old by asking her for directions at first, and then I proceeded to ask for her name. Name. She became afraid and started walking away. I followed her, and then she went from walking briskly to running. Her gait was a peculiar because she ran like a newborn fawn, turning around every so often, trying to see if I am still following. Now I want to make it clear that I absolutely abhor this bad thing and do not have any intention in that direction, not this, not any of that. She had no reason to be frightened. I wasn't going to do anything. But the feeling when you follow a girl and she notices you and she tries to lose you or pick up the pace, that is kind of a good feeling. You become important to her. You are no longer some random insignificant face in the crowd. I know it is kind of low level behavior, but I do enjoy doing that. I go to another city, look for a girl that is walking by herself and start following her. After a while, they notice you. After dark, after sunset, it may suffice to just walk in the same general direction as a girl that is walking in front of you. They become paranoid. I recommend you lonely and so I'll try it sometime. Ah, great, it's these dum-dums, they found another website. Just to make her afraid. If you know your limits and don't actually do this, let alone are, that girl, it should be harmless psychological fun. Ah, uh, yes, no, harmless psychological torment. Yeah, but here's the thing, I don't care who you are, I do not know you, and I do not want you following me. That is it. That is it. Bottom line. And the fact that you think this is all fun to you means that you should not be around anybody at any point in time whatsoever. Sounds like you are a bead towards zoos. Take a minute to understand how you are perpetuating the same cycle of prejudice in the big... Yeah, I don't know if I can say that word. With this form of thinking that people have shown onto you. Be better and educate yourself on what being a zoo really means. Attraction does not equal action. For anybody wondering what he's talking about when he's saying zoos, he's not talking about the place where the zebras, the alligators are. No, this is the type of dude that wants to diddle scruffy. Louisiana girl for perishes after her grandmother allegedly forced her to drink an entire bottle of whiskey. The girl's mother watched while her child drank the liquor. That's dangerous even for an adult to do, and you've like, forced a little kid to do it. I hope you are under the prison. As Matic boy perishes after a mother used his inhaler to smoke the booger sugar. Social services missed chances to save the life of this boy whose mother, this person, has been convicted of gross negligence. I don't know if I can say that, but it's man laughter. 
with the S in the middle. First off, I don't even know how you could even use an inhaler to do that. And secondly, what the frick? Sheriff's office. Blank man broke into neighbor's home and attacked them with knives, swords, and a hammer. In most cases where I'd see stuff like this, yeah, the knives and the hammer are usually the most common things because it's just, well, one of the easiest things to find. Why'd the dude have a sword, though? Nashville, Tennessee. Police say that this person walked out of a suburban extended stay hotel in this location with a small black dog on a leash and into a ditched pulled a weapon, and ended the dog. The witness observed the small dog's tail wagging while it bled to death from the mouth. Blank stated, I should have just let the dog go as he was arrested and charged with aggravated animal cruelty, felon, and possession of a weapon, and aggravated reckless endangerment. He is in jail in lieu of an $80,000 bond. I don't think I'm ever going to get used to the fact that there are some people that can th do this, think this is perfectly fine, and at the end of the day think that they're going to get a good night's sleep. That and also, depending on what state he was in, it could actually vary depending on whether or not the dog was considered property so he wouldn't even have that $80,000 bond if he was in a certain state. There's a lot of this that's absolutely messed up and I'm not okay with. During opening statements this week, Blank Lawyer claimed that the actress carried Milani Conceal and Perfect all-in-one correcting kit with her throughout her entire relationship with Blank- Dude, why are you censoring this? We all know this is the Amber Heard Johnny Depp case. And suggested we should use the makeup to cover injuries from Blank alleged physical hurting during their relationship. Milani has since responded to the brand's surprise mention at the trial. On Thursday, the makeup company posted a 15-second video to its official TikTok account to debunk this person's claim. You asked us, let the record show that our correcting kit launched in 2017. The firm captioned the post. You know, I'm honestly not going to be surprised if there's a whole bunch of these Johnny Depp Amber Heard posts on our slash I am a total POS. I mean, if it wasn't enough with the whole literal sense of the whole dookie on the bed thing, we all know. Firearm safety for black people. Yeah, no, this picture on the right don't exactly help the case for this either. Always shoot the thing with the right side up. Always lick the chicken grease off your fingers before shooting. Always make sure there is a white person around so you have someone to blame for everything that goes wrong in your life. Always aim for small children to ensure you actually hit another gang member. I had to look in the comments just because I was honestly speechless at this. There's pro 2A people in the comments that this person was pissing off. And just because you hold a seminar in Vegas does not mean that it's a rule-free zone and you can have absolutely abandon any morals and common sense and just say whatever you want. I still find it weird that there are some people that think that they can say absolutely anything and everything and think that there are going to be absolutely no consequences tied to it at all. And the person that made this also did a whole bunch of other slides that were absolutely messed up for everybody else. If you're doing a seminar like this, this is not like a whole joking around kind of thing. This is kind of like you do your job. You're supposed to be doing something that's supposed to be responsible. I actually really like you, to be honest, and I have for a really long time. Wait, for real? I've had a huge crush on you for like two years now. I had no idea you felt the same. Um, that was a dare. LMAO, sorry. Uh, uh, pardon me as I die on the inside because uh, that was legitimately the first way somebody asked me out. If you're one of those people that has ever asked somebody out and told them that you were dared to do it, I, I hate you. Audio capture Russian soldiers discussing offing and are Ukrainians with one saying, if there are civilians slay them all. But during an episode of Kim's revived show, The Kardashians, which I honestly didn't even know ended in the first place, Saint was messaged something super inappropriate by an online character. The joke sent to Saint's iPad hinted at unreleased footage from the tape, alongside a photo of Kim's crying face. The distressed Kim who commented, the last thing I want as a mom is for my past to be brought up 20 years later. You know, I'm fairly certain at this point a lot of people know about the tape, uh, but if you go out of your way to message their kid that there is this such tape that exists, uh, you got absolutely major levels of douchiness. Like, that's not even okay at all. Good evening, Blank. I'll be calling you tomorrow at 5 p.m. This will be right after my physical therapy appointment on base, so I'll be driving. Also, I'm available to start a bit earlier in case you can. Looking forward to our call. It can wait until you're not driving. Better to be safe than drive distracted. I'm open all evening tomorrow. I will call you at 5. If you insist, 5 it is. Enjoy the rest of your night. I really don't feel right about you calling me while you're driving. I'm paying for your time and don't want only partial attention. It's like speaking to your therapist when they are reading the news. Correct me if I'm in the wrong here. You can invite me to a Zoom meet. Blank, I just left my appointment and see this request for a Zoom call. I need more time to plan for this as I was assured a call at 5 would work. 
I already made plans after our call that I cannot be late to. Can I just reschedule? Am I wrong for asking for your full attention? That is not wrong. What is wrong are the constant reschedules and half hour heads up you now want to switch format after we agreed to a call? I think it's best we stop here and possibly try again at a later time. I'll process a refund for our sessions. What is your Venmo? If this is a therapist or counselor, then you very much should be getting their full undivided attention if I'm not mistaken. It's supposed to be one-on-one, -on -one, not one-on-one, -on -one, but also I'm driving so I need to pay the attention to the road too. I met up with this guy from Tinder. He was a nice guy. We literally only kissed once, no touching, and then he got this big wet patch in his pants. I laughed, took a photo, just playing with him, not malicious. Uh, then he said he had to go and unmash me. What the frick? Is that normal for guys? Ah yes, the good old tradition thing of body shaming being perfectly fine as long as it's not geared towards you. And you're wondering what happened and where you went wrong. You took a photo of him, multiple photos actually, one of which being his face, and decided to post it on the internet for your internet points. But with that last reason that aliens will never want to visit us, that's gonna have to be it with the video. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more content like this one in the near future, because honestly this dumpster fire is never ending, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Also, check out the playlist of these videos. Unfortunately, there's a lot of some stuff you might find interesting. Now, I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.